Crawley leaders have taken a step closer to what they say will make the city more walkable and more environmentally friendly. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. I'm Rod Carter. Just an hour or so ago, city council members voted to drop the parking minimum requirements for new buildings. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live in downtown Raleigh for us tonight. Haley, so what is that, exactly does this mean uh, for parking? Well, it means these new rules are going to are going to apply to new shopping center offices or apartments that haven't been built yet. So the goal is really to make sure and recommend that people stop driving anywhere. But of course, it's going to take a while for it to happen. Parking is a precious commodity in Raleigh. Traffic has picked up. There's not enough spots. I feel like it's gotten better. Um, there definitely can be some improvements. But it's one that some people think we can start to cut back on. It affects our city by creating pollution, creating sprawl, increasing housing costs. And quite frankly, we want a different future. Parking minimums require developers to plan for parking based on the estimated amount of people who will live, work, or travel to a specific neighborhood or their building. But Raleigh city leaders decided to remove the rules for new builds, hoping to encourage people to stop driving everywhere. They think this will help the environment and pollution and make it more walkable. If, you know, if they have an alternative that works for people and stuff, I mean, um, there's no problem. Right now, people tell us they don't think there is an alternate option. We definitely need to improve our, our public transportation. Oh, you think of bigger cities, they all have it. While some believe it's a good start, they don't think the city is ready for the change just yet. If anyone is thinking that this, that this text change will force people to give up their cars and resort to transit, uh, that's going to take a while. If we had a transit system like Charlotte, then we would have something to talk about. But we do not have an efficient, widespread transit system, and it will be quite a while before we do. Uh, better not put the cart before the horse. The amendment also requires long term secured bike spaces for new apartments that are going to be built. And if a developer does choose to go over those maximum parking space requirements, city leaders are now looking at ways that they can mitigate those environmental impacts. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right, Haley, thank you.